everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review and lip swatch video for you featuring some new lipsticks from the drugstore. I'm really excited to do this video because I miss lipsticks. Like I have really been wearing a lot of long wearing lipsticks or super matte lipsticks, but I haven't really been wearing like typical lipsticks that come in a tube that you get at the drugstore or at Sephora just because I've really been into like that super matte liquid lipstick trend over the past year. So all of that to say, I was super excited to try out these new lipsticks from Rimmel London. These are their the only one lipsticks and they just released a line of 10 different shades. These are supposed to be moisturizing, hydrating, they're supposed to stay in place and they're supposed to be really pigmented. So they kind of reminded me of everything that I get from a liquid lipstick without that super drying matte feeling. So I was definitely curious to try them out. So as for the pros, these are affordable. You can get them at the drugstore so they're definitely a great price point. The second pro is that they have a range of 10 colors. So the line isn't overwhelming but they have a good range of a few lighter, nude, pink shades, some really bright, fun colors, and then a few deep, vampy shades. So whatever you're looking for, they will probably have something that works for you. These lipsticks are definitely hydrating. They definitely moisturize your lips throughout the day, and I'm glad about that because I'm kind of over that super dry lipstick feeling. I don't want my lips to feel dry anymore. I've really been wanting something kind of semi-glossy or even just, you know, just not dry. <laughs> so I love that these are moisturizing and they feel great on the lips. They are really pigmented. You definitely don't need to wear a lip liner underneath if you don't want to. I always wear a lip liner under my lipsticks just because it helps me to apply them a little bit better. But the color pigmentation is great and they wear off really nicely throughout the day. With some of the brighter or darker colors, you're left with a little bit of a stain underneath. So that's always really convenient when you're out and you're running around and you don't want to have to constantly reapply your lipstick. I would say they last on the lips for a good three to four hours. If you're drinking and eating, it's going to be a little bit less than that. They're not transfer proof or kiss proof. They're a typical lipstick. I think the formula is one of the best that I've worn, especially from the drugstore, I personally would recommend picking them up because for the price, you cannot go wrong. As for the cons, I would say they definitely have a strong scent. If you guys have smelled the Kate by Rimmel, or Rimmel by Kate, I can't remember the exact name, those have a really strong, sweet scent. These have the exact same scent, and once you apply them, you cannot smell it, and you can't smell it throughout the day, so if you can kind of power through those first five minutes, you'll be perfectly fine. I personally like the scent, but I know a lot of people don't, so I would have to say that is a con. Another con, not like a huge one, is that whenever I apply it, the tube kind of gets messy, and I don't know if that's user error or just the way that this was designed, but I'll roll it up, apply it, and it will kind of get all over the tube, and I kind of have a thing against messy makeup. I just don't like for my makeup to be messy, so that's kind of like a nitpicky con. Okay, let me do some lip swatches for you so you can see how they apply, how pigmented they are, and how they look on the lips and decide if any of them would work well for you. The first one is the one that I was wearing in the intro and it's probably my favorite. It is in the shade Naughty Nude and it's just the perfect everyday natural looking color. The next one is a really gorgeous color as well. It's a little bit more of a pink nude. It's pretty much pink, but this one is called It's a Keeper and I think this looks gorgeous with a lot of different eye looks. The third one is called You're All Mine and it's a really bright, fun pink. I think that a lot of the shades are on the brighter side so they're really fun for spring and summer if you like to wear bright lipsticks. The next one is really gorgeous. This one is called Peachy Keen and it's just the perfect peachy coral color and I think that this one again is so perfect for spring and summer. Then we have the shade Cheeky Coral which I absolutely love. I think that this would be flattering on so many different skin tones. If you have light skin or if you have dark skin I think that this would look really gorgeous on you and I just think it would look great on everyone. So this is a really fun color. The next one is in the shade Call Me Crazy and you guys know how I feel about orange lipsticks sticks. They are definitely not my favorite, but I have to say this one didn't make my teeth look as yellow as I thought it would, so I kind of liked it. I don't know, maybe I'll wear it this summer a little bit more. The next one is in the shade Pink A Punch, and it's just a fun pink shade. It's really bright, really similar to the other pink shade, but a little bit more vibrant if you're looking for a really hot pink. Then we have the color Best of the Best, so we're going to get into some of the red shades, and this is like the perfect classic red. It's so bright, so flattering because it has a nice blue base or a nice blue tone, so it'll make your teeth look super white. Then we have this shade one of a kind and I have to say I had a little bit of trouble with the darker colors because they did get all over my teeth so you have to be careful with that because they are not smudge proof or transfer proof so these are going to kind of make a little bit of a mess if you don't wear them with a lip liner. The last one is in the shade Oh So Wicked which is a really dark vampy color and that's it. So let me know what colors you guys liked and if you think you'll be picking up any of the shades in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!